I know going in that I, you know, I'm not going to end up with a Sammy Sosa or, or a Bonds or a Louis Gonzalez. I'll certainly bid on them, and if they happen to fall into my lap, I'll take them. Uh, but with only 55 cents to spend and eight spots to fill, I can't really toss it all into one player. It's all about trying to evaluate players, putting different players together with different skills to try and build a team that is going to do well as a whole. No adrenaline rush yet. That'll probably hit in, you know, in the minutes before we're starting. Get we're getting ready to start up. I remember having a girlfriend once who just didn't believe that I had to go somewhere and do this all day. Like she thought I was, you know, had a gr another girlfriend or something. I was like, I can't just not go. I mean. You know, this is like the most important day and like these guys are counting on me being there and I'm going to screw everyone over if I don't go and plus I want to go. We're going to have about, let's see, 10, about 130 players drafted. If you figure in the average player takes 5 minutes, 130 times 5 is 630, 630 minutes. That's 10 hours. Is everybody ready to get started? At least with the administrators. Everyone's here. Hey, Bruce. Hey, David. Let's go Sammy Sosa for 27 cents. 39. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those years. 44. 45. 46. 48. I'm out. There's so many mixed currents going on at the same time and you have to sit there with your friends competing with your friends and knowing you can't get what you want what happens is we acquire the players that will make up our roster i'm out someone nominates a national league player i'm out we'll go around the I'm room out. bidding on him I'm eventually all the teams, except for one, will have dropped out, and that player becomes part of that team's roster. Let's go seven cents for Roberto Alomar. Twelve. I'll go twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Thirty. I think I take the approach of looking at each position I need to fill. What's the, the lowest ranked guy on my list that I'd want to settle for at that position? If the guy on the top of my list for that position is being bid up and it's well beyond what I you know, would want to pay for, I, I have no problem dropping out of him as long as I know there's a cushion there of some other guys I can fill that position from. He's yours. What do you think of, 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 the, guys, uh, of the guys we've got left that are a little bit more established, like... Uh, um, like Lichtenberg, uh, Ashby, Reedling. We've drafted 72 players so far, so we're only barely halfway done. So I think we've got 6, 12, 16, 20, 41, 43, 44, 48. We still have 60 more players left to draft if my math is right, so that's another five rounds. That's about another four to five hours. So. 25. 26. You can have them. I didn't want them. <laughs> Today on Nomo, to the six packs. Part of the game is making other people spend more money than they wanted to get the player they want. And that's where the gamesmanship is. If I can get you to spend four more dollars than you intended on Pedro Martinez, that will be four dollars you don't have to spend against me later in the game. I'll go 17. He's yours. Okay. I got him? 17 to Paul. Cool. 
How about Jeff Jenkins for a penny? Two. Three. Four. Fifteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. No, I'm out. I've got to make a decision. It's like I've got to switch from kind of being relaxed and just watching other people do things and watch the, watching them spend their money, which is what I wanted them to do, to having to make like a really big strategic decision that was going to affect the rest of my draft. Okay, I, I will say 20. There's a fine line between being aggressive and being stupid. I want to be well-rounded and solid in all eight categories. <laughs> jumbled already. I guess this is the David Copperfields. That's the really, really good team in this league. Well, I can see why. You got Lance Berkman for a dime. Guy's got more extra base hits than any switch hitter in the history of baseball. How did he know about this guy? Very good. He may get a job as a GM someday. Six packs here. He's uh, he's getting pretty close to that cap. He's got a pretty good club here, too. He's got Brian Giles and Bobby Abreu. That's a pretty good start. D.A. Paul Meisters. Boy, he's way under the cap. What a is there a cap thing? Is this like the NFL or something? Great. All right, let's see who he's got in here. Oh, he got Paula Duca for a penny. Paula Duca should have been in the top ten in the MVP voting, and this guy gets him for a penny. Boy, that's pretty good work there. He's probably made some bad choices. That's a pretty good one. He's got Piazza and LaDuca on the same team. Now, can you play both those guys at the same time? How does this work?